On the table you can see six plates, six numbers, and those are the positions that we're going to aim for when we're practicing our service. One, two, three, four, and five and six. Let's recap real quick what I, will, what I showed you on a piece of paper. It's going to be the same thing when we do the backhand service. Our side spin is from the tip of the racket, right here, side spin right there. Our side, which is further away from the table, in this case is right here with the backhand service. So that is our backspin, right here, the way the ball rolls, that's our backspin. Our control, no matter what serve you're doing, no matter what hand that you're doing, is always in the middle. Okay, and these rules comply even if you're left-handed. Where there's our side spin, where there's our back spin, where there's our control. Same thing happens when you hold a pen hold. Side spin, back spin, control. Our sweet spot is right here between between back spin and side spin. It's right, right here. So when we're doing a serve for the most best effect most efficient serve, most qu highest quality of serves, sweet spot is our key. It's a serve that you can do that hits the table and starts curving away before it even lands on the table or walks off the table. Let me make a few more notes on a backhand service. Rules of Federation are as follows. You have to stand behind the white part of the table, the white line. Your grip does not change. The way you've been playing on a forehand and a backhand chop forehand or backhand, it stays the same. So if you play with a shake hand, you stay with a shake hand. The reason I'm showing the serve is because it's easy to learn as it's almost the same thing as a chop. But your grip does not change. Let's talk about the fundamentals of your footwork. Your footwork doesn't change. If I'm right-handed, my left foot's forward, my right's back. Usually a service, you do it off the, the side that you're on. Any serve that you have now, you can improve it by first, aiming for those sweet spots that I showed you on a racket, and B, is to get low. Make your eye level with the net. Before anything, the rules of table tennis is that we need to hold the ball like this, open hand. You can't hide it, you can't hold like pitch of salt. You have to open your hand like this. So when you're throwing the ball, it's behind the table. We put our hand first in front of us. Our racket is in a chopping position, like a chop right there. So it, looks, it will look like a chop. See, it's like a chop. It's basically the same thing. For a really good spin, put this elbow up like that. Your racket automatically goes sideways. So whatever you do, like the chopping, like let's do the chop motion from back to forth, it goes sideways straight away. So don't focus on the racket, focus on the elbow, okay? Now if you want to focus on spin, you can focus on spin. If you want to focus on control, you can focus on control. If you have never done this serve before, or never done serving ever before, Focus on the control. If you've done a bit of serving, you might have a bit more coordination and you can start aiming for those nice spots. But let's just, let's bring it down. Let's go to the control. Rack it down, learn to throw. You can throw it sideways like that, that's illegal. If the ball comes in here, you're gonna have a, hard, a harder time to, to do a serve. So practice throwing it. The reason we throw it high for the gravity effect. If you throw, the, the higher you throw the ball, the more gravity takes the impact to bring it down and that creates more Side spin, okay? If you throw it too low, you won't have enough reactions to, to practice it. So there's, just for yourself, practice a bit of throwing. Now put your, take, take the racket back into your hands, put the racket behind the ball. It looks exactly like a chop, exactly like a chop. And you can practice doing a chop serve. This is a very basic serve, but it's still a good serve. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very good serve. But what you can do is, as you're gonna do the serve, push forward, and that's it. Just go forward. If you want to go to plate number one, you show me where you want to go. Like a forehand and backhand, show me where you want to go. Right there. And the service rule is, behind the table, first bounce can be anywhere on this table, but it has to be one bounce, and the second bounce has to be over the net. If you hit the net in the serving, reserve. You have as many times as you want. If you hit the net and goes out, it's the opponent's point. If you hit the net and goes into the edge, and flows off, it's still your point. Once you've learned that concept of throwing the ball, making contact and going forward, let's, let's make it a little complicated, but a higher level. Let's go back to the elbow. Let's bring this elbow up, like that. You might look weird, you might look awkward, you feel awkward, but this is the best way I can teach you. Put that elbow up, and now whatever you'll do, as long as you make contact and you go forward like a chop, you create side spin. You see how the ball went sideways? 
That's because I put my elbow up. That's all I did. I have not done anything different, trying to confuse you. All the difference is I'm putting the elbow up. I'm doing the same motion from the stomach forwards like a chop. Now, let's practice the harder part. Let's practice the really hard, the sweet spot. I'll show you real quick, without slow motion, how it looks like in a match. I'm low, nice and low, throw it up. And I miss, point to you. Good job, Eddie. One more time. I'm low, right there. And you can see I missed the first time, because it's hard. If you don't focus on it, it's gonna be hard for you to hit it. But once you hit it, it'll go sideways, but it'll also go backspin. Make the ball bounce closer to the net, so you'll always hit over. People think that you need to, to make the serve go short, hit it close to you, no. Because, the, because of gravity, physics, hit the ball closer to the net. If it has spin, the ball is gonna come up in the air and it's gonna bring right down. So put the ball close to the net, just focus on the net, and the ball will go short. This is where people get bad habits. I mean, missed, I couldn't even do a bad habit. I know that went in, but look where the arm is. Going, coming back, or doing response to it, whatever, chop or backhand, whatever it is, it's gonna be hard if your arm's all the way here or behind you, like this. Because people think that, like, if you pull like a sword, extra effects will come, no. The contact is how fast you can brush the ball with the rubber, no matter where you place it. It's like two, it's like making a fire with two rocks. It's how fast you can brush it off. Listen, that's side spin. Once you learn to hit the sweet spot twice, it's even easier to go long. Learn short first before you go long. See, there's long. Short and long to three. For more effect, start from the left shoulder. You can even start like that, right there. I would like to start here because it gives a little more deceiving for the opponent. Because the last minute I can change my angle to go for, the, for that sweet spot right here. As you're turning the ball, go sideways. And then follow through. There's your sweet spot. First stage is the chop stage. Then it's the elbow, just gone up, but the same forward motion. Create side spin straight away without me trying, trust me. Then start practicing the sweet spot, just making sure you make contact. As you're going for it, tilt your racket a little bit, to create more, more side spin sweet spot for more effect. Finish like a chop. See that? A side spin, back spin, and it goes sideways. And I finish like a chop. Let's practice. Control in the middle. Before we, before that, let's focus on the back. Purely on the back. This is gonna be a little harder. You might hit more nets or even miss it, but it's gonna be much better. But if you aim now, just on the edge, right here, you're gonna make the ball bounce and might even stop it. There you go, see that? That's that pure backspin side that you can do. It's harder to practice, but it's very good. Learn to control, then go to the backspin. And that there is all the fundamentals you need to know about the service. The side spin, the back spin, all the fact about the racket and how to do a backhand service in those sweet spots in, in here, the side spin, the back spin and the control. Keep your practice, trust me, from, even from day one you will learn to do the serve really well as long as you stick to the basics of going to the middle, in the ball wherever you have to and follow through. Just don't go sideways, that's the, that's the best I can ask. Just go through, whatever you're doing, whatever angle you're doing, just go from stomach Maybe here to emphasize more, but always go through. Most importantly, if you have a server ready, trying to get those specific angles, side spin, back spin, and a little sweet spot. I'm, I assure you, your serve is gonna be twice as good now as it was before. Good luck.